In this video, I wanted to go through how I got AdSense monetized on my brand new website, Tiny Home Hub. Now, as you know, this website has been live for about a month now, and as you can see, it's actually the first ever website I've ever had that has ads on it. Now, the first time I applied for Ezoic, they actually denied me, and then the second time, they accepted me. And I want to talk about the difference between the two and why they denied me the first time and why they accepted me the second time. But first of all, I want to talk about the most important part of this process, which is making sure that you have good pillar pages. Now, if you're doing the keyword research, like I showed you in the previous videos, also, if you want to follow along generally with this process, go to youtube.com slash income stream surfers, click on playlists and go on this playlist right here. And then within this playlist, there is a keyword research video where I talk about seven different keyword research methods, which are completely free. And one of them is AnswerSocrates.com. Now, if you go on AnswerSocrates and we go on the United States and we type in tiny home and we search, you can see that this is one of the most popular ones right here. Are tiny homes legal? So one of the first things I did was I decided that that would be one of my pillar pages. Are tiny homes legal? What is the legality of tiny homes, et cetera, et cetera. Is this an ad? I'm so confused. Um, wow, Azoic really puts a lot of ads on your website. Um, and then another thing I did was I then did an individual page for each country. Sorry, each state, okay? I should also do each country, et cetera, et cetera. This alone is 53 pages, okay? Or however many states there are in the US, plus one because of the pillar page. Now, the whole point of this is to show that not only do we have a lot of pages, but also it's to try and drive traffic to that page, obviously. Now that's not working too well. As you can see here, the effects are okay, but not fantastic. But, oh, 77 impressions a day is actually not that bad at all. If we go on New Mexico Tiny Home Laws, for example, yeah. We're getting decent amount of impressions to this page every single day. So one of the first things you need to do is you need to identify your pillar pages and create them. However, even with these pillar pages in place, I was still denied uh, Azoic, basically. And I'm going to show you why, and I'm going to show you how to fix it. But just remember, a lot of this was manual chat cheap, sorry, manual in inverted commas, chat GPT generated content using plugins, etc, etc, as you can see here. Generally speaking, these rank very, very well, and they show Google that your website is legitimate. You can see here, these are all just people searching for my website. If I remove the query site like that, it should give us a more accurate. Oh, sorry, it does not contain. Okay, it should give us a more accurate understanding of this page, as you can see here. Perfect. Okay, this is right. Uh, you can see it's growing slowly, tiny home prices. Uh, tiny home Massachusetts prices, how much does it cost to build a home in Tennessee, et cetera, et cetera. So even with all of this, okay, so if I scroll all the way down, I did exactly the same thing. This is 102 pages, 104 pages, et cetera, et cetera. And I still did not get accepted by Ezoic, okay, which was quite frustrating. Um, but the reason I can show you right now is because if I click on minimalism, for example, there are only one, two, three articles within this category, okay? So here's one, two, three. Jesus, that's a lot of ads. Be careful with the Zoic, guys. It is really, really spammy, but I'm just trying it out because they do pay very, very well, okay? So I'm just testing. If I click on one pot recipes as well, you can see there just are not enough one pot recipes here. There aren't any, to be honest with you. This is another problem. Also, if I click on Tiny Home Hub and we go to older posts, let's go to page, I don't know, five maybe. So we've got six pages of content and the problem was I just didn't have enough content, okay? When I applied for AdSense, I only had four or five articles, which they do not like whatsoever. So what I did was I used Article Fiesta and I used koala.sh in order to boost my uh, the amount of 
blog posts I had, basically. I used the schedule feature on Article Fiesta. It posted 16 articles. It did really, really well. I also, I did a few just with the bulk generation and also the advanced generation. And then I produced maybe 10, 15 articles using Koala Writer. Let's see how many words. I create 33,000 words using koala.sh. And I probably did 20 to 30 articles using Article Fiesta. I also made sure everything was linked together. I added a few more of these kind of pages, like the, the pillar pages or the subcategory pages, et cetera, et cetera. And then I applied for Azoic again, and eventually Azoic decided to accept me. I would say you need at least 150 to 200 high quality pages to get accepted by Azoic. Now, one thing I do want to show you is I chose my niche very, very carefully. I chose specifically to go after people in the US. The obvious reason for that is that they pay more money. So if we go over the EPMV, it varies massively, okay? Sometimes it's up to $11, sometimes it's up to $10, sometimes it's down to $3.67. I guess it depends where the people are from and probably a load of other factors as well. But the nice thing about Zoic is even though it's kind of spamming my website, it will pay per view, okay? So even if there's, you know, there's eight ads on here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I get paid for all of those. That's the really, really cool thing. It's not just one ad at the beginning of a YouTube video, like I get paid for YouTube, but it's just a big spam of ads. So although it does affect user experience, it does pay a lot more per view. And yeah, I'm really, really excited to see where this goes. I will say that a lot of this traffic, a lot of this money is from my viewers. So there's nothing really I can do about that, unfortunately. But I am planning on doing this in the long term. I'll probably go silent on this um, project for a little bit so I can get some stats without being kind of affected by my viewers. Make sure you've got everything in your headers like this. Make sure you've got everything dropped down like this. This is all really, really basic, important stuff. Make sure each category has at least five articles in it. So I don't actually know why they accepted me when that's what they say themselves. And yet one pot recipes here does not have any information on it at, at all. I guess this doesn't count as a category. This counts as a pillar post itself. Kind of doesn't make sense, but kind of does make sense at the same time. It's a little bit weird. The ads are really, really interesting. They're very, very targeted for sure. And then a couple of more things I want to show you. I've got some really, really good results with some of these pillar posts. I'm very, very excited to see where these go. I think what is a Tau, T-H-O-W, Tiny House on Wheels, is doing very, very well. Yeah, we're moving on up, and things are very much looking up right now. I'm very, very excited to see where this goes. And yeah, I wanted to just make this video to show people how I got accepted to AdSense and how they can too. If you don't have enough pages, make more pages. Make sure everything's linked up. Make sure everything's in the header. You can put everything in the footer as well if you want. That's what I did just for the fun of it. And then, yeah, reapply for Ozoic, and I hope that more people get accepted. Thanks for watching. I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.